Well, turning to the economy now, economists at IU believe that we could see a recession next year, but the economy's future is not entirely clear. CBS 4's Kristen Eskow shows us their outlook for 2023. Economists at Indiana University say there's a lot of uncertainty about what could happen with the economy next year, but that doesn't necessarily mean a bleak future. And business owners here in Bloomington tell me they feel optimistic about the upcoming year. For Bloomington real estate broker Tracy Lutz, business at her office has dropped in half from this time last year. People aren't being able to buy as big of a home as they would like to have. They're choosing not to move up from their current homes and, and buy more space. Lutz says that's because of the ongoing interest rate hikes meant to slow inflation. Higher costs continue to be an issue across all industries. Don Weiler says he's not building as many homes as he used to. Just the cost of new construction, as they uh, stated here today, has gone up. 35% at least over the last few years. Economists at Indiana University's Kelly School of Business say inflation is likely to slow down next year, but so will the economy. Andrew Butters says that's because the Federal Reserve will continue to raise interest rates, which is meant to discourage spending and therefore reduce inflation. Consumers are still mostly spending, even at the elevated rates of inflation, um, but basically how much that slows down could really be the, the pivot point. That means that slowdown may lead to a recession in 2023, but economists say it's unlikely to be anything near historic levels. Kyle Anderson says there's good and bad news for the economy right now, so it's hard to predict what that recession could look like. It's definitely within the cards that that would happen next year. And, you know, it might be a mild recession. Hopefully it won't be too severe. Still, business owners in Bloomington say they're holding out hope. I believe this is really a smart, um, a smart slow down, so to speak, with the rates and things. I think it needed to happen. Another interest rate increase from the Fed could come as soon as December. In Bloomington, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News.